Hi, I'm Lane Visit with TV Studio, and I'm here with Coach Candrell. All right, Coach Candrell, you have been teaching for a while. What inspires you to teach and do your coaching after school? I figured out uh, at some point in life, I figured out I didn't want to dress up every day for work. That was one piece that kind of mattered to me. I didn't want to dress in a business suit. And then I started figuring out that I really enjoyed people. And just, just being around people gets me really excited about life and makes me happy and engages me, keeps me engaged. Well, your kids go to Missouri Southern. How are they doing with their schooling and their track? They both done very well academically, better than I did. I'm, I'm really impressed with how they've done compared to my growth that I had to figure out uh, in college. And as an athlete, they both have provisionally qualified for nationals. Neither one has been able to make it into nationals because it's a cutting list. Um, they take the top. Been very happy with just how they've developed. And most important, I, I just I want them to be happy and have a good experience, and that's what they're, they're doing. Well, you say back in your day when you were in sports, what are your greatest accomplishments? In high school, the best I was ever able to achieve was I was honorable mention all conference in the long jump uh, and the triple jump. And then uh, couldn't get to state, couldn't get anywhere close to state. But in college, I had won, I won a conference championship twice, and I was an All American twice, and finished third my senior year at nationals. I see. How do you project your the season for the kids going this year? I'm feeling really good about the kids we have out and the new kids that have joined. Um, I just think we have a, a good mix of veterans and new people. Um, the veterans are excited, the new people are excited, and as a coach and the other coaches are all saying, you know, they, it's just it's fun to work with people who are excited about what yeah. they're doing. So a little birdie told me you're a professional jelly maker, and actually I have some of your jelly right here. Taste test for you. Okay. Yeah, I, I do dabble in jelly. Okay. Yeah. What sorts of jelly uh, do you make? I make grape jelly a lot. Uh, I like making blackberry jelly. I like making peach. Peach is probably the, the top dog. Uh, gotcha. I've got coaches throughout the, the state want to know when they get more jelly because they enjoyed it previously. So um, we're talking I, that up a lot. We're gonna see how, how good it really is. It's it's tasty. It's tasty. All right. Well, are you ready? Sure. Three, two, one. Wow! It's got some kick, it's good. That's one of the better jellies. I bet. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it might, I've, I've got some wild grape that really mm -hmm. gives a kick. Really? That's really my favorite. This was on the store shelf, so I'd go for it first every time. All right, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, this has been TV Studio with Coach Candle.